games. Woo! Let's go. Uh, Hurst the games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we team up. I think it's time we try and fix Manchester United. So today, I'm going into a career mode, and I'm going to try and fix Man United and win them a trophy for the first time in quite a while. It's Man United's longest time in about 40 or so years since winning a trophy, so... We're going to see if in career mode we can fix that. If you enjoyed this challenge, make sure you leave a like. But let's get into it. Let's fix United. So, never fear Man United fans. I am here to try and help win Man United a trophy and see if we can bring them back to some winning ways. So, the challenge today is to try and win at least one trophy in one season with Man United. We're going to be doing that by selling players and buying players. I'm going to be transfer listing all the players that I don't want to keep. And we'll go through that list in a minute. And I have to accept the first offer that comes in for those players. So if it's an offer that's massively under what I'd want to sell them for, I don't have a choice. I'm selling them for that. That's what they go for. And I'm also going to try and bring in some players. But my rule of thumb is going to be I can only sign someone if I sell someone. So if I sell a centre-back, I can buy a centre-back. But I can't buy a centre-back until one is gone for example. So with all the rules in place, let's get into it. I'm going to get the transfer listed players sorted and we'll go through those now. Okay, so let's go through the players that I am transfer listing and show you guys who it is I'm getting rid of. Also bear in mind that these are obviously my opinions. I'm not saying, obviously I'm not a United fan, so I don't see United every single minute of all of their games, but this is just my thought on outside looking in what I would change personally. Let's go. First of all, we're listing up Grant. He's never playing. Heaton, same reason. Uh, we're also going to be getting rid of Harry Maguire. I think most Man United fans would agree with that. He's not been good. Let's get him out of the team. We're not going to play him. Uh, we're also transfer listing. I had to decide between Lindelof and I had to decide between Eric Bailly. I've gone with Bailly listed just because of the injuries. I think he gets injured a lot. I like Eric Bailly. I think if he was to stay fit, I think he'd be a solid player. But he's injured all the time. We're getting rid. We're also getting rid of Phil Jones uh, for not even the same reason. Just it's Phil Jones. Uh, Wamba Saka, I'm transfer listing. I think he has been pretty poor for United, so I'm getting rid. I ain't going to be using him. Uh, we're also getting rid of Matic. I decided to keep McTominay. I, it's not that I don't like McTominay, but I don't know. I just wasn't too fast. He's rotation, so he'll probably go on the bench and we'll probably start Fred for now. Um, I've also listed Rashford. I think he's been very out of form recently, and I think Rashford needs to move away. I don't think United right now is the right place for him to be at. If, I know he's United through and through, but I've decided we're going to sell him. He's not been good enough recently at club level. Paul Pogba. I transfer listed him. I think right now I would take the money for Pogba and reinvest in someone different. So Pogba has been transfer listed. Lingard, transfer listed Mata. Uh, I've also transfer listed, questionably, Edison Cavani. I think Cavani's a baller, but right now, somebody at the age of 34 isn't what this club needs. We need a young backup striker to Ronaldo. So that's what we're going to find. Please bear in mind, these signings are people that I would like to see signed at United. Not necessarily all oh, they've been linked with United, but it's the players that I'm going to pick up for the sake of this series. And well, episode, it's not a series. And uh, yeah, so let's get some sales done so we can make some purchases. Let's go. Okay, quick point of interest. Cavani has gone to Tottenham. Not ideal him going to a rival for 15.2 million, which means we can now sign a striker. I'm scouting a couple of people, but a striker we can now sign. Another sale, 60.4 million for Paul Pogba to Real Madrid. So we can now sign a centre mid as well as Paul Pogba has left. Decent-ish money. Um, yeah, 60 mil for Paul Pogba. Let me know, United fans. Do you think that would be a good amount of money to get right now? I know he's only like on a year on his contract, so... Let me know your thoughts. Okay, we've actually made our first signing into the club. It's the Cavani replacement. So the striker replacement, I bought Osman. Now, Osman did set me back a pretty penny. £64,500. Quite a bit of money, but a very good young talent. He's going to be rotation off the bench for us. Welcome, Victor, mate. A couple of signings to let you know about. Uh, we've sold Matic. So Matic is gone. 11.1 million to Roma. There was a more expensive offer in from um, Burnley as well. But as I said, I'm accepting all offers. To clarify, I'm not including swap offers because some of the money and some of the players and stuff are being offered for swaps are just pointless. They're just players I'm not going to use. So I haven't been including those. But Matic is gone and Eric Bay is gone as well to Hoffenheim. So we can sign in like a sort of rotation midfielder and a centre-back. So that's good news. I'm going to treat Bay as a rotation centre-back. So I can't go for my big, big signing yet. It's this man we need to go. That's the second time I've had offers in. It's not much money, but we have to accept it. Okay, we have replaced our Paul Pogba, and it is with the one and only Jude Bellingham. Now, this is a huge signing. This would be incredible. Again, this isn't necessarily me going at realism here. This is me replacing players at United, having a wholesale sale, I guess, and then bringing in some ballers. £64 million for Jude Bellingham. I think he's going to be a beast. 
Okay, a few sales and some big ones. Matter, not one of the biggest, has gone to RB Leipzig. I'm all about it. Maguire selling is huge for us. It means we can bring in a centre back. And I have just the perfect person I'd like to bring in. And I have a backup in case that person's going to be a little bit too expensive. It will be a very expensive purchase if I can get the person I want to get in in but Maguire has gone we've also had the sale of Jesse Lingard 15.1 million he's off to Olympic Marseille so again another sort of rotation attacking midfielder can come in if we need to make that signing two more sales we've had Phil Jones go 3.25 million off to Aston Villa and Wamba Saka has gone to Man City for 35.9 I had four clubs all in all of them I got to all agree at 35.9 that's the first one I had in from Ajax I think it was uh, at 35.9 and then every other club that came in I just got them all to agree at 35.9 which is pretty good so he's gone 35.9 mil we can sign a right back okay we made two more signings both in the defense replacing the right back and center back positions we've got Ricardo Pereira coming in uh, from Liverpool believe it or not if he actually signed to Liverpool I was already in negotiations with him at Leicester um, but I just left it a little bit because I was just finishing a scout on somebody else and in that time Liverpool came in and signed him so I thought you know what so I bought him from Liverpool for £1 million less than I was signing him from Leicester anyway 38.6 is what we signed him for and then Koulibaly was my backup centre back I was going in for De Ligt but De Ligt they wanted £92 million, and I thought you know what I've already made some big signings, so I won't go with the link. So instead, I spent 60 million on Koulibaly. Still a lot of money, but Koulibaly will be an absolute beast at the back for us. Huge rating, huge, huge player. And that there, are far, th those are four fantastic, fantastic signings already. But we're not done there. Okay, the sale I was still waiting for, and that is the sale of Marcus Rashford. He has gone to Leverkusen for 56.9 million pounds, which means a new winger can be signed. And I have a couple shortlisted just need to decide which one and our final first team news signing is going to be Usman Dembele he's going to come in and replace Marcus Rashford because there's a little bit more than Marcus sold for 70 million pounds coming in for I'm not a big fan of Dembele in game uh, I'm just not a fan of him this year I don't think he plays very well for me personally but in career mode and I'm simming it I'd have to use him I think he's going to be a beast so hopefully Usman comes in it's two players leaving clubs where they're not really finding the best of luck right now Rashford moving away from United Dembele moving away from Barca hopefully both of them find good luck especially Dembele at his new team let's find out that's the final first team players I've got a little bit of rotation signings to make we'll do that now okay I've made my final signing of this window we have signed Braganca is how I'm going to say that uh, it's another player from Sporting another young Portuguese midfield talent I brought him in to be a rotation player off the bench in the midfield for the team those are the signings we have made Braganca Dembele Koulibaly Pereira Bellingham and Osserman now I'm going to send this through to January and see how the team is doing. Fingers crossed, it's positive. Okay, we are at the 1st of Jan and I'm going to be honest with you. It's not going quite as well as I had hoped that it would be going. This is the team that we've been using for most of the season. A couple of players sort of coming in and rotating a little bit. But um, we're currently in 7th and I'm not overly thrilled about that. Admittedly, we are a point off of 4th, so we're not a million miles away. But I'm just a little bit gutted. We're 10 points off of Man City. I don't think we're going to be catching them. I don't see us making up 10 points on them to the end of the season. Uh, I think we've made it through our group in the Champions League. It wasn't like an easy group, but it was a little bit disappointing. You can see the form's been a bit stinky. Went out of the cup on penalties to, uh, to Brentford. Uh, but yeah, I'm fairly sure we made it through our group. I think we were unbeaten bar one game. Uh, but we've had some really bad results across the way as well. Like one that really stuck out to me, that league loss against Watford. That was our strongest 11. There was no rotation that side. You can see we had plenty of days after the, the Man City win. And then we just got thumped by them. And I have no idea why. So we've got some time left to go. I've got some improvements to go. I don't think I'm going to make any January signings. Because again, my rule of thumb is I can only sign someone if I sell someone. I think if I was being brutally honest at this point, I'd consider maybe selling Fred or McTominay and bringing in a big CDM. But I think we made enough signings that we shouldn't have to make any more changes right now. So I'm going to stick on my guns. I'm going to stick with this team. No more players in. No more players out. And this is what we're going for. I do want to say Alanga, by the way, has been very, very impactful. I'm actually really curious to know how many goals he scored because he's been really good. He scored four goals in five appearances. That's pretty darn impressive if you ask me. So fair play to Alanga. He's been a very good impact. But enough of that. I'm going to sim through. We're currently in seventh. 
We've got half a season to sort of recoup and hopefully try and fix things. What I'll do is as we're getting near the end of the season, maybe that last month, I'll keep you guys updated. And if we either progress through to the final of the Champions League, we'll let you know. Or if we end up going out, I'll update you guys as and when that is. So without further ado, let's go for it and hope the second half of the season is just that bit better than the first. Okay, we have played our final game of the season the question is, was that final game of the season in the Champions League? Was it in the league? What was it in? What did we do? Well, it's time for our trophy roundup. Let's see how we did in all of the divisions, in all of the competitions. Let's go. Okay, starting off with the Carabao Cup, we lost 5-4 on penalties after a game going 2-2 against Brentford in the quarterfinals. That was eventually won by Newcastle, so we didn't win the Carabao Cup, we got to the quarterfinals. You can see the Champions League final is between Real Madrid and Inter Milan. We went out in the semis to Inter Milan. We lost 5-4 on penalties after 2-2 on aggregate. I was really disappointed with this. We won 1-0 at home. For the second leg, I had Ronaldo and Fernandez both suspended and Varane was injured. I was at without three huge, huge players, which was such a shame, but to lose 5-4 on penalties in the semis is so unfortunate. I honestly thought we were going to make it to the final. And in the league, we finished in third place. We just capitulated a little bit at the end. We were in second place. Liverpool won both of their games, the final two games. We drew against Chelsea and then we lost against Crystal Palace. It was so unfortunate. Again, I was without Varane for both of those games. He's now fit and ready to play after those games, but... That's sometimes how it happens. But yeah, we finished in third, which in the grand scheme of things isn't terrible. But I, I really wanted to get top two. I'll be brutally honest with you. I didn't expect to win the league because I know how good City and Liverpool are in these career mode saves. I really wanted second place. We finished third. It's unfortunate. But I said I wanted to bring silverware and the FA Cup is silverware. It may not be the biggest competition, but we beat Leeds 3-1 in the final of the FA Cup. So we did bring a trophy back to Man United. It's what we wanted to do and we did achieve it. Not quite the trophy we were after, but a trophy nonetheless. Our top goal scorer was Cristiano Ronaldo. 39 goals and 10 assists, so 49 goal contributions in 57 games. He went down two ratings, so that's just because he's now 37, but he was incredible. He was such a savior for us and saved us in so many games. We also had Jaden Sancho with 26 goals and 18 assists. That is nothing to turn your nose at at all. 44 goals in a calendar year is, is incredible. So fair play to him, all about it. Then Bellingham with 15. Osserman obviously off the bench with 10, which isn't bad at all. Bellingham with 8. Bruno Fernandes with 7 and 8 assists. That for me was one of our biggest letdowns. I think Fernandes was really, really disappointing for us. I think he could have done so much, for, so, so much more for us. McTominay to get two goals less and two assists less at CDM. I gave Fernandez a, a very attacking role uh, and it just didn't work out, which is such a shame. Uh, the top assist was Jaden Sancho, Ronaldo and then Fernandez. So third most assist, but I kind of wanted him and expected him to get into at least double figures, but it didn't happen. But I would say our best two players were by far Ronaldo and Sancho. Those two together were incredible and, and saved us in a lot of matches. But that is the end of the video and I am going to end on the FA Cup screen because again, it's not the trophy we wanted, but I said at the start I wanted to bring silverware to Man United and it's what I've done. Not the way I planned it, but it's the way it's happened. And if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more challenge star videos, then please do leave a like on this video. It supports me, the video and the channel out a whole bunch. If you're new, hit that sub button and turn notifications on to be told anytime that we upload a video if you want to catch us on our live streams it's hersey games over on twitch there's a link down below but for now i want to say a massive thank you for watching i've been tom you guys have been awesome and i'll see you soon the car says and of course wash your hands what Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.